Hey everyone, welcome to an episode of Inspiring Game Developers. I made Jet from Valorant and Unity, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I made her and what my process was. I didn't completely finish her, but I hit some exciting milestones and developed most of her. I even got some amazing Jet models and animations from a viewer named Vor Cryptix, so she's looking and feeling pretty awesome. The first thing I did was hop on Valorant and I played around with her on the shooting range. I was just really focusing on that tactical FPS feel. As you can see though, I was doing really bad. Uh, uh. So I hopped into Unity and created a simple tactical FPS controller. It had all the fundamental pieces of an FPS like WASD movement, jumping, crouching, and I tried to tune the numbers to feel very similar to Valorant. Then, I started working on getting the shooting mechanic down. There were multiple parts of creating a shooting mechanic that felt like Valorant. First, I needed to create a system that was able to be reused for many guns. I started off with some generic information about the gun, like the name, max magazine ammo, and max ammo. I then hooked up the fire rate per second, which you can tune along with input to make it feel more like a submachine gun, an assault rifle, or a pistol. After that, I created something called Recoil Reset Time Seconds. Recoil Reset Time Seconds is the amount of time it takes after firing or moving for the recoil pattern to be reset. If you've ever played a tactical shooter like Valorant or Counter-Strike, you know that your gun gets more and more inaccurate the longer you shoot and the more you move. The only way to become accurate again is by stopping what you're doing and letting your gun reset. This is one of the core fundamental mechanics of these types of shooters. I then created a recoil pattern array. This was an array I could go through that just rotated the gun every step in a certain XYZ direction. Once the player stays still or doesn't shoot for a second, the recoil pattern index gets set back to the start. Now that we got some of the core mechanics of the shooting down, it was time to start making some jet abilities. I started off with her dash because it seemed really simple to me. All I needed to do was to pretty much just increase her movement speed by a good amount when you press the dash button. I then created some particles that I play when you go in a certain direction. Wait, these look like trash. Ah, that's much better. Around this time, a viewer of my live streams named Vorcryptix offered to make some models and animations. They look absolutely stunning. I ended up using Unity's particle system to create those wind effects as well. Thanks, Vorcryptix. After I created the dash, it was time to start working on what seemed like it was going to be the hardest thing, but actually ended up being the easiest, the smoke bomb. Jet's smoke bomb works like this. If you press the smoke button, she will throw a ball that turns into a bigger ball. If you press the smoke button and hold, then you're able to control the smoke with your mouse. I'm not entirely sure why it seems so daunting at first, but it really just came down to making the small ball go straight forward and give the small ball's transform rotation the same exact rotation as my player camera. Super easy, right? So I hopped back into Unity and started by just making the ball go out forward and after a certain distance turn into a bigger ball. Lots of balls. I then gave the small balls transform the same rotation that my player camera had when I was holding down the throw smoke button. This was the part that seemed to be the most daunting, but all I had to really do was sit down and try to create it. Literally took like 5 minutes to come up with, and it looks and feels awesome. Really fun mechanic riot. For Cryptics gave me some animations for the smoke and I hooked them up. Again, they look absolutely amazing. Thanks again, Vor Cryptics. And now this is what it looks like. After I finished the smoke throw mechanic, it was time to do a couple more things. I followed up by creating her updraft ability, which just shoots her up in the air. This was pretty simple because it was really just making the jump height bigger. I never got around to doing art for this, and we didn't end up making animations, but the numbers still feel pretty similar to what's in Valorant. The final mechanic I created was Jet's floating mechanic. Anytime Jet is falling, the player can hold the jump button and Jet will float down to the surface. This was also really simple because it was just temporarily changing the value of gravity to something more floaty like 
and then changing it back to the default value when the player releases the space bar. Another rule set in place is that she can only use this mechanic as she's falling, so we needed it to also ensure that she was falling and not that she just wasn't grounded to let our user use the floating mechanic. And here's the final product. I didn't make everything perfect, and I didn't make art for some things, but it was a really fun project nevertheless. It's really interesting to take popular games like this and break down the mechanics into small pieces. It seems to always turn out more simple than first thought. And that's the whole point of this series. I want to inspire you guys to take a leap, and just start doing development in games. Some of these things may seem daunting at first, but once you sit down and start doing it, things are actually not too difficult. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I'm really excited to make more similar to this. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, press the subscribe button and bell so you can get notifications about all of my videos. I regularly stream and make tutorials, so if you're looking to hang out, come, watch, and interact. Thanks so much for watching. Ajaxter out. So